there are a lot of black characters in comic books with electric superpowers. We got Storm, we got Static, even Miles Morales has a little juice in his powers, right? But I want to talk about this guy, Black Lightning. So back in the day, DC Comics was looking for a black superhero to kind of be along the lines of Storm and Luke Cage. The character that they created was actually called the Black Bomber, who, uh, get this, was a racist white man who, when he got angry, he would turn into this uh, black superhero. Yes, that's a real thing. But before it came out, they actually hired Tony Isabella, who had worked on Luke Cage and a bunch of other comics before. They let him create his own character, and that was Black Lightning. When the Super Friends show came out by Hanna-Barbera, I think this was 1977, they wanted to use Black Lightning. But the way that Tony Isabella had his contract set up with DC, anytime they used Black Lightning, they would have to pay him. Hanna-Barbera didn't want to do that. They made a new character that was just like Black Lightning, except his name was Black Vulcan. Now, Black Vulcan was in that Super Friends show, but they didn't really use him much outside of that in the comic books. But then in the 90s, there was this group of four individuals who came together to create uh, Milestone Comics, which was a subsidiary of DC Comics. Now, they made characters like Icon, Rocket, Hardware, and of course, Static, or some people like to call him Static Shock. Now, there was supposed to be an episode of Static Shock where Black Lightning actually showed up. But again, because of the way that the contract was set up with Tony Isabella, if they would have used him, they would have had to pay him. So what they did was they made another character, Soul Power. Long story short, Hanna-Barbera did not want to pay Tony Isabella to use Black Lightning. And DC Comics basically let them copy his work. And that's why 